Five, four notes, some in different formulas. There are two, oh, excuse me, there are a few more things uh, we can do with some in different uh, differences. All right, find the exact value of sine u plus v, given that sine u is 7 over 25. All right, uh, we're 0 to the power of 2. So look, 0 to the power of 2, what does that mean? What quadrant is this in? First quadrant, right? Because this is 0, this is power of 2 up here, right? So we got a triangle in the first quadrant. Come on. We got a triangle in the first quadrant, so sine would be opposite over hypotenuse, right? Y'all feel me? So opposite over hypotenuse, we got to find this side right here using Pythagorean theorem. So if we do uh, 7 squared plus b squared equals 25 squared, uh, that's 625. So we end up with 25 squared, 625, 625 minus 49 would be 576. And then we find the square root of that, right? So this leg is going to be 24. And then it says cosine is negative 5 over 13. All right, and it's in between pi and 3 pi over 2. So here's pi. Here's 3 pi over 2, right? So this triangle is in the third quadrant, right? So cosine would be negative 5 over 13. So if you do Pythagorean and there, negative 5 squared is 25, 13 squared is 169. And 169 minus 25, you get 144, and the square root of 144 is 12. Alright? And by the way, this has to be negative. Do y'all know why this is negative? Yeah, negative x, negative y. So that's a negative 12. So now, given this information, these triangles right here, it says what are. Oh, it says, uh, well, remember the formula sine of u plus v? Uh, it's sine u cosine v plus cosine u cosine v, and we're just using this equation. So it says we have two of the pieces, but uh, we want to do some work to find the two, uh, the two pieces. So we already did the work to find the two pieces, right? So now we just find sine of u plus v. Uh, so it equals sine of u. So sine of u would be what? 7 over 25. Uh, times cosine of v, where cosine of v is negative 5 over 13, plus cosine of u, what would cosine of u be? I'm sorry, cosine of u would be what? 24 over 25, and then what is uh, sine of v? What would sine of v be here? Negative 12 over 13. Okay, so that's and then we just simplify that, right? So Cut 7 times, back, that's negative 35 over 325 uh, plus negative 288. Negative 288 over Plus a negative 288 gives us a negative 323 over 325. So there we go right there. Ma'am? I can add them. That's all. Yeah. So let me go right there. No, you good. Good question. Good question. All right. Questions over this problem. Questions. And just so you know, if you weren't here, this equation came from the very first set of notes uh, right here. Some of difference where you gotta you gotta add to get the angle. Then you use this model. But you gotta try to get an angle with this model. And so on and so forth, okay? It's just plug, it's just substitution, the big thing. Um, so again, here's another one. Alright, cosine of a minus b. So before we even start, here let's let's expand this. If it's cosine of a minus b, j, um, what would the equation be? It would be cosine of a. Yes. Sign A, sign B. Good deal. 
So now we have alpha right here. All right, they told us that alpha is in between pi and three pi over two. So that means which quadrant is that? Third quadrant, right? So this is negative 15 over 17. Pythagorean theorem, uh, 15 squared is uh, 225, 17 squared is 289, minus 225, that's 64, the square root of 64 is 8, hey, 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 I'm sorry, yo, we're doing a video, y'all find out, um, and then, and then for beta, right, it's between 0 and power over 2, so that's in the first quadrant. Right? So we have opposite over hypotenuse. So this is three. Oh yeah, the eight has to be negative. Thank you. The eight has to be negative because that's a negative y. Alright? So now, real quick, we know what cosine of this one is, right? Let's go ahead and just identify sine. What sign of this? Of oh, oh, hey, yeah, negative eight over seventeen. And then what's cosine over here? Now, this requires you to have your blue sheet. So, do you have your blue sheet? If you don't have your blue sheet, can you grab a blue sheet? There you go. Hey, what they do in church? If you got your blue sheet, raise it in the air. Raise your blue sheet in the air once you got it. Give it a shake, shake it one time. All right, here we go. That's the, that's that Roni? I sprayed, I sprayed the whole room. Like, I just sprayed. All right, verify the follow. So, right here, um, we're going to end up expanding all of this. All right? So sine of x, like you look at like a plus b, right? So you got sine of x plus um pi, sine of x plus pi. So when we expand this, this is going to be, remember this is sine of x cosine of pi, right? Plus, yeah, look at the equation. Sine of a plus b is sine of a cosine of b plus cosine of a sine of b, right? So sine of x cosine of pi plus... Cosine of x, back, sine of pi, all right? And then we've got to do this cosine part. So cosine, we just talked about it, is cosine of x, Cut cosine of, what, here, cosine of a, cosine of b, plus sine of a, sine of b. So when we plug in our values, we have cosine of x, Cosine of pi over two. Sine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I know, man. Um. Kill my turn. Minus or plus. Um. Sine. Sine of x. Sine of pi over two. Thank you. So sine of x, guys, is sine of x. What's cosine of pi, somebody? Can you tell me? Look at your blue cheek. What's cosine of pi? Negative one, thank you. Cosine of x is cosine of x. What's sine of pi? Zero. And then we have cosine of x. What's cosine of pi over two? Zero, thank you. And sine of x, and then what's sine of pi over 2? 1, alright? And by the way, we gotta make all this equal 0, right? So
So let's verify that it equals zero. So right here, what's this? What's sine of x times negative one? Negative sine of x. What's cotine times zero? Zero. What's cosine times zero? What's sine times one? Sine of x. So we, we gotta make it equal zero. So now what's negative sine x plus sine of x? Zero. So does zero equal zero? Verify. ink from the page. Let's do this side. Now before I start, what's the tangent rule? This is minus. So you gotta have tan of A minus tan of, tan of B over 1 plus tan A tan B. Alright, cool. So this is A, this is B, right? So we're gonna have tan of power of 4 minus tan of x all over 1 plus tan of power of 4 tan of x, right? And all you do is literally write it down and just plug that in. And that's supposed to equal 1 minus tan, and I see it. It's, it's going to definitely equal. Right? So now, right quick, this, what's, what's tangent of power of 4? Yeah, radical 2 over radical 2. I'm sorry. Tangent of power of 4, guys. I'm just going to do it real quick off to the side here. Tangent of power of 4 is radical 2 over 2 divided by radical 2 over 2, which is 1. Right? That's it. So this is 1 minus 10, and this is 1 plus 1 times 10, right? This is 1 minus 10 x all over 1 times 1 plus, that's, that's 10 x, so 1 plus 10 x, so that equals 10, that's very fine. Alright, find all solutions, uh, uh, excuse me, in the interval from 0 to pi. All right, so here we go. Cock that motherfucker back, kid. Uh, right here, sine of A plus B, right? So, put your phone up. And we got minus sine of A minus B. So sine of A minus B, this is going to give us sine of A, cosine of B, um, minus cosine of A, sine of B, minus that, this minus here. Remember, this is just this one, right? Sine of A plus B is sine of A, cosine of B, plus cosine of A, sine of B. Oh, plus, right, right, there it is. Now, this is the same minus right here. So now we got to do this one, sine of A minus B. So we have sine of X, cosine of power of 6, come on, let's do it. Power of 6, here, minus um, cosine of A, So again, man, just a quick recap. This is this one. And this minus that is this one. Cock that motherfucker back, kid. It requires a little expansion, man, but we're going to be okay. So now, sine of x is sine of x. <laughs> What's cosine of power of 6, somebody? Radical 3 over 2. Cosine of x. And we have sine of power of 6 is 1 half. Alright. And then we have sine of x. Cosine of power of 6 is radical 3 over 2. We left those in the second grade. 
minus cosine of x times one half, and that equals one half, right? Now, let's distribute the negative real quick. So, sine of log root over two plus cosine of x times one half minus sine of log three over two plus cosine x and one half. Cock that motherfucker back here. Wait, guys, can we cancel out anything? You can cancel out sine of radical 3 over 2 and sine of radical 3 over 2, right? That's positive and negative. So now I have cosine, this is 1 cosine x to 1 half plus 1 cosine x to 1 half. That'll give me what? 2 cosine x to 1 half. And that equals 1 half, right? So now we just solve. Alright, how do we solve? Divide by 2 on both sides, right? by two on both sides, cosine x equals um, four. No, if I look, if I divide by two, divide by two, that, yes, if you keep change flip, that'd be one four. Or you just put the two down here, and you divide by two. kids watch that crap man. uh all right so back to this problem so now look listen we got to take this right here and we got to golly hold up here cosine x times one half is one half cosine x cut that motherfucker back kid right and then this one right here would be one half cosine x so now one half plus one half is one so cosine x equals one half. Y'all see that? Y'all see what I did? So now, where does cosine x equals one half? Look, everyone in the circle tell me where all the x equals one half. Positive one half. Power of three and five power of three. Those are the answers. Period. Listen, listen, look. Right here, tangent of uh, a plus b, and we got tangent or two tangent of a minus b. A plus B, sorry, A plus B, sorry. So for this one, uh, we have tan of X plus tan of pi all over one minus tan X times tan of pi plus two times, oh, this is the same thing because it's the same. So tan of X plus tan of pi all over 1 minus tan x times tan of pi. So now we got to simplify stuff. So tan of x is tan of x. Can somebody tell me what tangent of pi is? Well, wait, let's look at pi. 180. 180, what's, what's, uh, what's the y value? 0 over 1, so tangent is 0. So tan x plus 0 all over 1 minus tan x times 0, right? Plus 2 times the same stuff. Right, that's what I did. right here, tan plus 0 is tangent. This is 0, so that's just tan x, right? Right? 0 to 1 minus 0 is 1, so tan is over 1. That's tan x times 2, so 2 tan x. This is 2 tan x. And it equals, what do we say is equal, by the way? I forgot what it equals. 0, right? So now, what can we do with this? Factor out of tangent. 1 plus 2 times 2, right? Mm -hmm. So tan x. Nah, this is just 1 plus 2 is um, 3, right? So 3 tan x equals 0. So divide by 3, tan x 
Tegu zero to one time the FCB. No, you know, show me. Think about it. It must be zero over one or zero over negative one. So pi and zero pi, my fault, and two pi. All right, cool. I thought you said pi half or something. I'm sorry. Right here? Right here? Right here? That's a plus. Yeah, I fat that tangent. That's one plus two. I could have just added this and went three times. I don't even know why I did that. 